Hi, it's Leslie Meredith with Breakbulk Events and Media. I'm here in the studio in Dubai with Sue Donahue, who is with DHL and heads their project division in Saudi Arabia. She's just finished um, her panel on doing business in Saudi. How did that go, Sue? I think it was really good, really well received, and I think we covered a lot of diversified topics in a short space of time. Um, and hopefully gave a good insight into the world of Saudi Arabia as it is at the moment. Great. What about the project outlook there? I know we had um, Richard Thompson from Mead this morning. Uh, sounded very optimistic about um, the potential in Saudi over the next number of years. I think the potential is huge. Um, what we're seeing right now is construction. We're seeing, because of the tourism side of it, we're seeing a lot of the construction projects in especially for Neom and some of the new sustainable villages. Um, so I think, yes, the mega projects will come back, um, but I think a lot of it right now is based on the expansions and I think there's a lot of investment in um, exploration studies. So I think they're trying to diversify a lot more just from being known as an oil and energy um, country to, to see if we can have more exports and so not just the petrochemicals but there's a lot more with the sustainability with the renewables I think it's really trying to make them you know put an even bigger place on the map than they have right now. Yeah so you must be involved in some very complex logistics for the projects that you're working on. Can you tell us about one of them that uh, is a particularly good case study to illustrate that. I think the challenges that we have right now are the, the immediate change in the um, some of the regulations. So I can give you an example. We were, we were importing some containers for a customer and in the morning there was six containers. In the morning three containers passed through customs inspection with no issue whatsoever. By the afternoon the regulation had changed and they were stopped and you had to have a different inspection and, and there were a lot of other hoops that we had to jump through. And I think um, as we saw on the panel this morning, especially when they tried to automate and, and make things automated online, especially like the Sabah certification and the pre-shipment testing, um, that's come with its own sets of challenges because the onus has been put on the end user rather than on the shipper so things get held up and we have to coach people through but we're in a position now where as a forwarder we can't do it for them we can coach but it has to be someone from the importer of record that actually um, goes in and kickstarts the process so the challenge is making customers understand that we can do so much but actually there's an element that we can't do because it requires a special code that's gone to a, one of their mobile phones or, or something like that. Well, that's digitalization, right? Correct, <laughs> exactly. We all think it's going to you know, revolutionize everything and be perfect, but it comes with challenges too. That's interesting. So how long have you been in Saudi? So I've been there full time now, based there for three years. Um, but I've actually been traveling to and from for the last 12 years. So I've seen a lot of change um, and a lot of things have become more accessible. Um, and I think the vision is certainly um, much different now than what it was. It's a lot more forward thinking. Interesting. And what is the, um, or maybe how has it changed, the opportunities for foreign investment, for example, and, and how welcoming are they for are, is Saudi for foreign investors? Extremely welcoming. I think um, especially now is in a meeting last week where it's been it's it really is being encouraged they're trying to make it as easy as possible. Um, so yeah I think that the foreign investment also that will build the economy, economy as well they're making it so that it's much more accessible to do business. Um, and they're encouraging it. So as much as we've got the Saudiization with the Saudi but with the foreign investment as well, I think um, there really is, there's a real step forward, you know, in the way to operate. Excellent. Well, that sounds like good news. Thank you for sharing that with us. You're most welcome. Thank you very much.